Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining Tron using your Windows 10 or 11 based computer here in 2024 in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn more and keep more of the Tron that you are mining using your computer here in 2024. So before we dive into the video, I always do like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a quick look at what's going on in the coin market as a point of reference if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if you aren't interested in this portion of the video, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the tutorial then. But overall, as you can see, crypto is slightly up today to a total market cap of $3.51 trillion, up about 1.16%. So nice to see a little bit of green there. Looking across some of the top coins, we are still seeing some green, but nothing crazy. And I think this is to be expected. Um, if you look at some of the older charts for previous bull runs, we see a big price jump like we've seen with Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP. You know, those are all doing really, really good. But it's also normal for them to pull back a little bit and trade sideways. Um, I think we still have the best to come uh, as we move into 2025. But of course, scrolling down just a little bit further, the main exception to that is actually Tron. Placed in number 10th place here, jumping above Shiba Inu, Avalanche, and others just in the recent days. This coin is up 72% today, oh, almost 100% this week. Their chart is a little bit broken here, but you can see it is almost a straight line up. So right now, Tron is currently priced at 38 and a half cents. If we look at their all-time high, you can see that it has smashed previous all-time highs of about 22 cents. So that is awesome. We are in uncharted territories for Tron. So anybody's guess is a valid one of how high it will go, or is this the top? But I think with Tron being priced at 38 cents, giving it a 33-ish billion dollar market cap, there's still a lot of room to grow. Um, and this chain is very popular. There's a lot of things going on with it. Um, you know, you don't just accidentally find yourself in the top 10 cryptos. So they've definitely got some good stuff going for them. So how do you start mining this coin? Because you may be thinking, you know, this isn't really a traditionally mineable coin. Well, we're using a site called Unminable. Now, if you're not familiar with this site, basically what it does is it allows you to pick an algorithm that is best and most profitable for your system and mine the coin that is best for profitability. Most, In most cases, that's not Tron. Um, so what you're actually gonna be doing is mining a different coin, getting paid out in Tron. The reason this is great is because Unminable does that exchange for you, meaning you just see one transaction in your wallet and that would be the Tron that you've mined. So what you're gonna do, click the link in the description below to get to Unminable. If you use that link, it will give you a 25% discount on your pool mining fee, which I'll talk about here in just a minute, or navigate to unminable.com. What you're going to do is say get started with our wizard. There's two options, basic and advanced. I always recommend basic, but please feel free to choose advanced if you want a couple extra settings to change. Here you can either go the GPU or CPU route. I'm going to be going the GPU route, but if you are following along on a computer that does not have a GPU or you're looking to mine on a Mac, choose the CPU option. Here's where you're going to select your algorithm. Now, if you're not sure what's best for your computer, I always recommend going out to a site called whattomine.com. Enter in the GPU that you have, and it'll tell you the best and most profitable algorithm to mine with. That's how you kind of determine this. I always recommend checking it every maybe once a month once you've got everything up and running because crypto is always changing and there may be a more profitable algorithm out there that you are missing out on if you don't switch and update your file. But I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with Kapow. Here's where you choose the coin that you'd like to mine. They've got almost 100 coins here on the site, but of course we're looking at Tron. 
At this point, you'll enter in your Tron wallet address. This is where your Tron will be sent to. So please double and triple check this address. You can see if I delete that little J at the end, it does come up and say, hey, this appears to be an invalid uh, address. But if I replace it with an I, we all know this is no longer my address, but it does not give you any sort of warning. So don't always rely on that. Just make sure that it's pasted in here right, because everything will work as expected if this address is wrong until you go to get paid and it won't show up to your wallet. So once you've confirmed that, go ahead and say next. And you're at the final step before starting the download process. This is where you can enter in a referral code. If you use the link in the description, you'll notice it auto-populated my Bitcoin Tips referral code just like you saw on screen. If you didn't use that link in the description and still want to take advantage of that discount, please feel free to enter in the referral code. It's Bitcoin-Tips, capital B, capital T. What this is going to do is reduce the pool mining fee by 25%. So here on Unminable, there is a 1% pool fee, meaning for every 100 Tron that you mine, one of those coins will be paid out to Unminable. It doesn't matter if it's 30 cents or $30. It doesn't matter if you mine that in a day or in a year. So by using this code, you actually reduce that down to 0.75%, meaning that you get to keep an additional 25% of each coin per 100 that would have been paid to Unminable anyways. So feel free to use that or continue without it if you'd like to pay that higher fee. And here's where you can choose your mining program, download it, and get started. Now, I always recommend Gminer as it's the one that I personally use, plus it supports both major GPU manufacturers. Not to say that these other ones are bad, but this is just the one that I personally use and have had a lot of really good luck with. So what you're going to do is say download minor files. This will take you to the GitHub where you select this Windows 64.zip file, download this and extract it. If you don't extract the file, this will not work. So please don't miss that step. If you get to the you know next step here where we're double clicking to get started and you immediately get an error, check and make sure you didn't miss that extraction step. What you're going to then do is come back to Unminable and select this blue download.bat file. Now you're going to see here that Google Chrome calls this out and says, hey, this seems to be an unverified file. We're not sure you want to be downloading this. You are going to have to click this warning and say download unverified file to continue. Now, if this is something you're not comfortable doing, simply don't do it. Unfortunately, there is no workaround for this. I've used this program for many years on several computers and I've never had an issue, but that does not mean that's always going to be the case. So again, if you're not comfortable, please simply select delete from history. Then what you're gonna do is switch over to the file that you just extracted and you're gonna drag and drop that into the folder. So I had to get it pulled up here, but uh, you can see I have my unminable TRX Kapow Gminer.bat. At this point, all you have to do to get started is double click this .bat file. Now again, you'll get a pop up here that says, hey, Windows has protected your PC. To continue with this, you will have to say more info and run anyway. This is just for the first time when you start this program. After the first time, you will no longer get this uh, error. But again, if you're not comfortable with this, please select Don't Run. And just like that, we are up and running mining Tron using my RTX 3070 here in Windows 11 in less than 10 minutes. We're about 8 minutes and 35 seconds in, and that included a little bit of looking at coin market cap. So in roughly 5 minutes, we were up and running mining. Now just a few final things I like to call out here about mining with Unminable. When you start mining, it does take about 15 to 30 minutes for stats to show up under the addresses tab here. That's completely normal. If this runs for any longer than maybe an hour, hour and a half, and you're still not seeing any stats, definitely double check that you've got your address pasted in right and that this CMD window doesn't have any red text with errors, things like that. And on the other side, when you're ready to be done mining, all you have to do is find the CMD window and select the red X. Once that's fully closed out, you are no longer mining. Now you may be thinking, why am I telling you how to stop a miner, close a window, whatever it may be? Well, here with Unminable, it's a little strange. I don't have a really good reason why, but 
if you've been running and mining for a decent period of time, you know, longer than what I just had up here, and stop the miner, you will actually continue seeing payments and stats on your unminable dashboard for up to 12 hours after stopping the miner. I don't know why that is, but I have seen the question of like, hey, I stopped the miner, it's closed out, but I'm still getting paid, is it mining in the background? You can rest assured that if that is closed out, you are no longer mining. I've personally seen payments come in 12 hours after stopping a computer uh, where that computer was unplugged from both internet and power. So there's no way it could have possibly been mining. It's a little strange, but I wouldn't complain too much because you're still getting paid and you're not having to run your computer. So with that being said, if you run into any issues throughout this entire process, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. And if you did like this video and found it helpful, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to Bitcoin Tips. It really does help out and allow us con to continue providing these videos here for free on YouTube. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.